turkey gear and camo is laying out your kids turkey gear and camo that's true and it's amazing when I go for the boys camo now I and mean, this is what I used to do right? boys camo but now that's only for Reed and Gage when I'm going for Mason's camo I gotta go in my tubs this will fit him I mean, he's as big as I am now. <laughs> I mean, boots and everything. So, he used to be a little guy, and now he's not. The boy's it fun, though. Well, we're going after it on a rainy Saturday because have no choice all it does is rain this spring it's terrible Mason is up to bat we're going to Aunt Kay's again we brought some rain gear and we're going to try to get another turkey in the rain it sucks all it does is rain every day they said April had like 22 days of rain 22 days it felt like more like so we'll see what happens stay tuned See what happens. Got him. <laughs> oh, did that happen quick? <laughs> that was fast. That might be a record. <laughs> I couldn't even get the camera going. The gun smoke is all in the air. He just, he just flew out of that tree. <laughs> it landed right in front of us and Mason smoked him. <laughs> Holy crap. Unbelievable. <laughs> this hunt is over before it even started. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I had to phone 
in my lap. And I'm like, oh shit, I can't film it yet. Don't shoot. And next thing you know, boom. Good for you, you didn't wait for me. He was in those big pine trees right there. And wow, he literally dropped right in front of us. Right in front of us. <laughs> that was like goose hunting. Yeah. <laughs> that was just like we were goose hunting in January. Oh, I can't believe it. Dude, now we're going somewhere and I'm gonna shoot one. <laughs> we, it's, what time is it? This is insane. It's so early. We literally got here 10 minutes ago. We set up and this guy started gobbling. It's 535. 535. <laughs> oh, take your mask off. We set up and he started gobbling directly in front of us across the airstrip. And I called two times. Hell, I still got a nice hot coffee here that I'm gonna enjoy. <laughs> I uh, called two times, and he gobbled back, and I knew he was, I said to Mason, I wonder if he's in those big pines, and then we saw him rustling, flapping around, and here he comes, floating down, gliding, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dropped right in front of you. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> oh, I didn't even have time to get comfortable. <laughs> Dude, that's too easy. That is too easy for you. <laughs> it's too easy. I can't believe it. Well, this is gonna be the quickest recovery on record. I think safety's on. Yep. Yep, all right, put it down. And let's, I'll film you right from here, your recovery, just so we can see how close it is. This is hilarious. Uh, I don't know how everybody doesn't do this. Turkey hunting is so much fun. Here he goes. Inside the blind, on the recovery. Yeah, man. Wow, I mean, he's stone dead. Nice Jake? Yep. Real nice Jake. There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> uh, bring him on in. here and drink my coffee. This is the best. <laughs> I love being a turkey guide. Look at this. Oh, Mason, Hunter Mello. Nice, man. Oh, ain't that a pretty bird, huh? Wow. Great job, man. Set up to do our little post hunt interview here. <laughs> I said, lay him on the blind. Lobs him in the blind. So yeah, this is definitely, definitely a memorable one. One for the ages. Give us a quick recap, Mason. <laughs> so, we came in here this morning. It's my first day out this season, so I was pretty excited to get out here. And we came to the usual spot, Avant K's. And we just went out, sat in our little blind that like we've all had set up. And we were just waiting to see if there were any on the roost nearby. We were looking for the gobbles. And there was one directly across from us uh, up in some big pine trees across the airstrip. So we were basically ready for him to come down and head towards the decoys. And we gave him a little call action. And then before we knew it, he was flying down. He glided down, landed right in front of us about 15 yards away. And I don't think he had the chance to take three steps and it was over. <laughs> 5.35 a.m. So oh. it, was, it was quick. It was a memorable hunt though. That sums it up. There's really not much else to describe the hunt. Not much else we can say. We just, I had the phone in my lap. I was working the slate call, like I said, a couple of times. Figured I had plenty of time to get the phone up and, and start videoing. But this bird came cruising in like a dinosaur and landed. And I told Mason, oh, I said, take him. But then I said, wait a minute, let me get the phone up. Let me get the camera. And uh, 
I don't know. I gotta check the footage, but like I either just hit the button and the shot went off, or I hit the. I started to record right after the shot went off because there was still gun smoke thick in the air and the bird was flopping. <laughs> I mean, I've never, never had one happen so fast, and we're taking victory photos before it's even you know daylight. It's not even enough light to to get the photos. It was awesome. So so cool. This is, this is how many in a row now for you? You've been, mm, let's eight, see. Still seven years. Seven years, eight, eight seasons, right? Eight birds. Eight birds, yeah. Kid is a stone cold turkey killer. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was a good one. We got some nice photos like this too. And uh, so bottom line is we still got plenty of time for old dad to try to get on a bird, don't we? Even though it's raining a little bit, we'll make a couple of, Lapped around here, and then who knows where we'll end up. Nice job, buddy. Thanks. Real nice job. Turkey season is always a big deal in our house. We even had each of the boys' first birds mounted, so they look forward to going out and chasing birds every spring. They always get a kick out of feeding the family, too. Mason has always tagged along with me on turkey hunts from back when he was just a little guy. It's amazing how much he's grown. Look at this. This was two days after his bird, and this is what he gets in the mailbox. can't get away from birds no matter where we go this morning. <laughs> We're at the breakfast place and these dudes are in the parking lot. I told Mason, tell them don't look in the back of the truck. They won't like what you see. <laughs> <laughs>